Hello everyone, Seagulum here once again and today we're gonna talk a little about Tarkov settings. Just to warn you in advance, these settings are a result of personal long-term tweaking and watching other guys which are already on YouTube by other people like Samosh, Gambit, Deadly Slob, Jedi Red 7 and many others. With that said, your results may vary depending on some factors like your hardware configuration, monitor, etc. You can find my hardware specs in the description of every video I make. Personally, I found my sweet spot for them in a way it is finally balanced between performance and visibility. There may be some some of you that will find these guidelines useful, so bear with me. I rarely have FPS drops and game runs pretty smoothly most of the time. Let's start with the game section of the in-game settings. I have the always show interface elements turned on since I like to keep my health and state of every limb in check. Additionally, the auto ram cleaner also for obvious reasons as well as use only the physical cores which replaces the former script that was used to solve performance issues with hyper threading. I do not use Nvidia highlights so I turn that off. Field of view is somewhat special because it affects the gameplay greatly. Gambit made a great video about it and I will link that video in the description as well as his channel in the outro. With lowest FOV, the line of shooting is in line with the reticle of short range sights and you can see more clearly targets that are further away. Negative side is that you lose peripheral vision greatly and the vignettes of long range scopes are way more distinct and obstruct your vision. Everything works opposite for max FOV settings. I settled for some kind of middle ground but leaning more towards the max FOV. Watch the Gambit video, trust me, he explained every detail and compared every numerical value. Head bobbing, do I need to tell you that you'd reduce that to the lowest unless you want your character to act like he's in a death metal concert. On to the graphics settings. The resolution is on native Full HD as well as aspect ratio since I have a Full HD monitor. Screen mode is full screen since a lot of people state that the game performs better in this mode and I agree since I tried comparing. V-Sync is turned on since I have a 144Hz monitor and when enabling it in in-game and disabling it in Nvidia control panel it removes the FPS limit. Someone mentioned that this introduces input lag but I haven't noticed that and the game runs more smoothly over. Overall. Texture is on high to load the GPU a little instead of CPU, shadows on low since they improve the low quality of shadows and setting them higher makes people less visible in shadows. Object LOD, overall visibility and shadow visibility is on lowest. Reason for this is that you reduce the distance at which these things render and increase the FPS as well as visibility of other players. Anti-aliasing is set on temporal anti-aliasing for more smoother visual representation as well as increasing some of the GPU load. Reset Sampling is on lowest and HBAO, SSR and anisotropic filtering is off. I rarely see someone actually using these since it probably decimates your FPS and visibility. Sharpness is really a matter of personal choice. It doesn't affect the FPS but it affects visibility. It requires some tinkering but I'd use it on uh, 0.4 because it is smooth enough for streams and recording and it pixelates enough so I can pinpoint enemy movement. Sound is simple. Effects is on max and other turned off since I found other clicking and inventory management sounds distracting in the heat of battle. Hideout is reduced since on max it is unbearably loud. Controls are also from person to person. I have a Logitech G502 Hero mouse and a lot of versatility in using it. Change the sprinting and aiming to continuous, grenades to double G to prevent accidental throwing and remap some of the utility actions like left alt to side mouse buttons so I can quickly transfer items, discard them or do sidesteps and steady aim. Sensitivity is always a topic in which people tend to disagree. I use 800 dpi and reduce the in-game sensitivity almost to half. With that I preserve the fine resolution of the mouse and reduce the sensitivity in-game to finally control the aim. There are a bunch of videos uh, about that on YouTube but I suggest you use the sensitivity which you are used to and feel comfortable and experienced with. The rest of the controls you can see in the video if you are interested in fine inspection. Now onto the settings which can be accessed from your desktop. First go to the Nvidia control panel if you have a NVIDIA GPU. Go to Manage 3D Settings and then to Program Settings. From there, if you don't have Escape from Tarkov in the programs, you have to edit via browsing your computer. Once you do that, change the rendering GPU from Auto to your dedicated GPU. In my case, it's GTX 1070. Set the Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance and Preferred Refresh Rate of your monitor, if you have that option, to Highest Available. I turn on the Threaded Optimization, turn off the Vertical Sync for removing the FPS limit 
it and set the virtual reality pre-rendered frames to 1. Try to keep it simple. Gambit also made a video about this and you can also tweak the shit out of these settings for maybe a couple of frames more. I also tried load of different combinations and honestly don't have the nerves and time to be stuck in a never ending loophole of trying to optimize the game to my liking. To me these are enough but of course if you want you can play with them a little and maybe discover something extra. The color settings are also highly debatable. These are mine. I added them to the ICC profile for my monitor and have turned night mode all the time for a little less eye strain. Also something which a number of people said to have an effect to FPS drops are these. Navigate to the executable file of Escape from Tarkov, right click properties, compatibility and make sure the disable full screen optimization option is ticked. Go to change high DPI settings, tick the override high DPI scaling behavior and set it to application as showed. You can also turn off the launcher completely so it doesn't run in the background if you are worried about that and the effect on your RAM. Every bit counts, right? One last thing extra. You can go to your mouse additional settings and disable the enhanced pointer precision option. There are a bunch of guys on YouTube which say that you need the raw input of your mouse as much as you can and most CSGO players disable this to evolve uh, their muscle memory more efficiently. Also, if you want you can change your power plan to high performance one if you deem it necessary. This is it folks. These are my settings step by step. All of the important parts are gonna be represented with timestamps in the description. If you have any additional info, comments, advices, please share them. Also consider subscribing and liking the video, it means a lot. Till next time, pozdrav!